Oh, it's going. What do you know? And I'm running. What do you know also? What do you know about that it's going? And what do you know about that I'm running? Probably not a lot about either, huh? I haven't run in a while. So, it's a fresh and new and novel experience for me. It's like 7.30 or something like that. 7.15 in the morning here in Madera, California. Madera Ranchos, to be more specific. Or the Bonadelli. And... I was gonna run without a shirt. And then I poked my nose outside and decided that I was gonna run a run with the shirt. And then poked my nose out again and decided I was gonna run with a beanie. And got going. Decided I was gonna run with the sweater. When I started running with the sweater, I decided I probably could use the hood as well. And then here we are. Um, oh yes, mind, I was going to make a bit of a, <clears throat> I was going to make a slight amount of video with concept of quantum mind floating and intermingling in, inside of all of the tangents that compose the video. Did you ever hear of a a tangent composed video that effuses points out of the, the sea of tangents every once in a while. Have you ever heard of that sort of thing? It's like you have this amorphous, hazy glob of tangents, and every once in a while something pokes out of the glob and it's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a point here. I'm a thing, I'm like a thought or something, or I'm an attention. Oh, we've talked about this before though, right? You have the whole surroundings, some of which may be, yeah, what do you call it? The hawk, right? The sky flashlight, telephone pole, your NPC drive-bys, etc. Pants riding up the ass. Slight feelings of regret that the body is now heating up because in you know, all this, you know, complaining and stuff comes in. And uh, so all those things compose your surroundings or your environment within which sits the tangent creating machine, which is called your quantum mind. And it it doesn't necessarily need to make points all the time. It can, but generally speaking, your body is like an ocean, kind of. You can equate your body to being an ocean of cells that sort of drift in and out and create icebergs here and create structures there, create rivers and pathways here and there, create exit and entrance points here and there. The same goes for the mind via the neuronal structures, but still a uh, same thing, same concept. So your body's kind of like an ocean that's full of valleys and gulches and ditches and construction workers. Some, you know, warring factions are in there too. Red blood cells versus the white. All these things, right? There's stuff going on in there. And you don't necessarily need Somebody, you don't need necessarily the, uh, Wait. The, the white blood cells staging a coup on the mind, or you don't need, you don't need the right hand plotting against the left one because he, he feels like you, you favor the left one because you're a lefty or something like that, right? Like, those kinds of things can happen, but generally speaking, it disturbs the ocean. 
And who wants to disturb the ocean? Because the ocean is nice and peaceful. Kind of. Just like 7.30 in the morning is nice and peaceful. Kind of. It of course depends on you. And what you're all about. If I was younger, I would skate on that thing. But I'm not. I'm younger than I was in 2050. Or something like that. So, there is a roundabout point to this video. Loosely held. Look at these giant tumbleweeds. I'm just waiting for one good gale. Nah, these aren't tumbleweeds. They kind of look like them. Maybe they are. I don't know. Who knows? So, I got a mile yet. I don't know. I'm jogging so as not to injure the body. So, and also somebody in the ME research group was talking about losing the memory of what she was talking about during mid-sentence. That kind of ties in to this subject a little bit. And I left her a message saying like, that's partially symptoms of coming out of the clutches of body identification. And, you know, I didn't necessarily mean like you are now exiting the matrix, which she kind of interpret it as it as I meant more like those are symptoms of the acknowledgement and awareness that the consciousness itself whatever it is bouncing blip of light or whatever is transient and it occupies vessels from time to time it doesn't remain stuck in them unless your consciousness has decided to name the vessel Hillary Clinton and it decides it's gonna perpetuate that motherfucker till the coochie is dry as an ancient hallway and all the kinds of things running through the mind are about how to protect the old ass money and pedos and all shit like that and you have a really boring sort of perpetuated scared shriveled life essence that isn't even an essence anymore it's some sort of re repetition that has overstayed its welcome And you can see that perpetuating the problem, like for instance, if there's a fear about getting out of the body and you're scared because the Catholic Church has warned you about the devil and hell, so you're a bit worried about getting on out of the body because you're afraid someone might find you and be like, hey, I know that one. You know, there's a spot on the assembly line down in hell. And he's one of the applicants, so he, he, didn't, he didn't know he applied, but he did. So he's got a, an internship, an apprenticeship waiting for him, and we gotta go tell him about it. You know, so maybe the dude is trying to avoid that. So he's like, God damn it, I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna go find me some, some cryo technology. Or I'm gonna talk to some good old aliens over there and figure out how to perpetuate this particular body mind housing unit this house for my essence right so I'm gonna stay in this bitch forever and of course it degrades at that point because the universe like I said many times is like an ever refreshing etch-a-sketch or that's what it's supposed to be and if an etch-a-sketch gets too old and stagnant that eventually it just bothers and annoys the shit out of everyone and everyone's like fucking clean your stupid etch sketch already because I keep seeing your ancient crusty old hag face on the, the boxes and screens and it's not pretty anymore and what you're doing isn't pretty or helpful to anyone or anything so why don't you just go have a refresh session you know go to the spa be like I got this body I've been having it for like a hundred thousand years. I keep refreshing it because I'm afraid of the dude with the scythe. I'm afraid he's gonna put me on the assembly line manufacturing trinkets for fucking earth and I don't want to do that. So I've been perpetuating my stay 
and this here vessel. So that just helped me with the transition back into freshness, right? So the Hillary can do that, or whoever's been playing the game, that type of game for too long, can do that. They probably can't do that because they're too far past it, and they have to be forced into something, but it's theoretically possible, and if they have support, which they won't because they've turned every single one into an enemy, you can kind of see how it gets a little difficult, but um, my point, see, tangents full of the occasional point. So I try to keep my tangent ocean not too prickly because it disrupts the flow of conversation. So the point being, one of the points being about mind, 10 minutes and 59 seconds. Okay, so mind, so we know that the future and the past aren't real. We know that the present also isn't real. We know that everything is relative. And when you compare those three elements, past, it's back there, yeah? Present, right here, and future, somewhere up there, at least for me on my current trajectory, okay? They all have some sort of reality somehow, but the one that you're in the middle of, i.e. the present, is more real than the past and the future, both of which are also real though. And something has been done, and I've also talked about this too many times to count, but I'll rehash because I got nothing else to do. Over time here in this particular matrix setup, uh, a big scam or con was pulled on the people. And when I say people, I don't mean like straw men. I mean interdimensional beings pretending that they're flesh suits, having a grand old time. Okay, these guys were hoodwinked somehow into thinking that the things were flipped on over, right? The thing I just explained about the past, present, and future, very simple three concept idea, yeah? Very simple. Anybody can test that one out right at this very moment, wherever you're at, doesn't matter where you're at, doesn't matter who you are, test it out. Okay, so we were playing playing an inverted realm, so all that the, the they did was they went ahead and convinced all the beings that the uh, important the import of that little old trinity there was reversed. So instead of the middle of it being the present, it's kind of like this overarching important thing, and the past and the present, or sorry, the past and the future flow out. You know, future flows out forward, and the past flows out backward. Instead of it being like that, they said, they, they didn't even mention the thing called the present in the first place. They never told you about it anywhere. They removed that concept almost completely. And instead they only harped about the future and they didn't even tell you that the future is just rehashed past or reformed past. So they left out a couple of very important ingredients and they got every single human on what I called the 70 year plan back in the day I called it that but that just means that everyone took their consciousness they ported it out into the future and the past because they're featuring the past same fucking boring shit they ported it out and they made the little Venn diagram or the the bell graph where in the middle used to say present and it was up at the top and then the, past and the future were off to the left and the right. Instead of that, they just flipped that bitch upside down. And now the present is this deep bottomless pit that you can barely know that exists. And the past and the future, the legs have been flipped upside down. And so now your, your mind is sitting there just looking at past and future and having a, a worry session about it because you forgot that the present existed. Right? So, okay, I'm gonna take a little break. I think I can't overdo it. I haven't run for a while. So uh, uh, what I wanted to do was show you guys the tunnels because I'm on the road that has those tunnels that I made a video in a couple months back. And I was going to tell you something about how all of our life experiences, every single one of them, all, all that is ever experienced in any way, shape or form gets packaged up as the present moves along the quantum mind field not mind field they turned it into a mind field but 
doesn't have to be like that but every experience is written like I smoked a little bit of weed just a tiny bit with Robbie way back like a year ago when I was still hanging out at Eden's and Robbie's and you know you guys know weed isn't good for me because my mind is already too ridiculous as it is so I smoked a little bit of weed with him and I started you know get feeling it and we were having this conversation and gesturing and gesticulating and you know having a grand old time and as I was moving and talking I was telling him I can feel the needle okay like it felt to me like there was a needle just like forging a record right memory not exactly like that but you could, I could feel it the present moment itself is the needle point for the recording system your present moment is the needle point and that your whole surrounding what you call your surroundings is the record itself being created okay your whole earth and your life and your fake sun simulator and all your thoughts inside of your head that sort of wrap everything up internally into a cohesive worldview and all the humans running by, all the NPCs running by, all the birds twittering, your feet making noise, like all the internal feelings, everything that you consider your life is you are experiencing one portion of one record, right? Uh, a record, like one record, like how many records do you know of? And I'm talking about the old ass vinyl ones. I'm not even talking about new ways of formatting this life experience into a record because there are definitely different ways of doing it. But what I'm trying to say is that we get so wrapped up in it, but it's still a matter of perspective. And this record that you're creating, you know, at the end of it, probably there's somebody managing your fucking record and they're going to be like, all right, this one's done. He just finished off at, you know, 72 years old. He wrapped it up nicely. He, uh, you know, made some amends and gave flipped the bird to his his creator or whoever he thought his creator was and he passed on and he sealed his record off right now and the record shoots out and you know whoever up or down or wherever the fuck the other dimensions are that look at these records they now have a record that they put your your straw man fucking label on there they're like this straw man named gary paul Wormerdam, you know just finished his record and now he's He's healing up in the, the astral cleansing realm. You know, his spirit, his essence is being uh, sort of refurbished now. And, you know, there is a sort of process that has gone through. And then that one record, just maybe it's not even special. Maybe it's a stupid record. Maybe you just made a dumbass lie. You were a crackhead or something. But that record just goes over somewhere. And now you have a room full of records. And you as, a, <laughs> as an inf infinite being have just hopped up one level in infinity. And sometimes maybe you go down a level and you see that the record facility, the record making facility is a piece of shit and it has like, it's being managed by, you know, P. Diddy or something. And he's not even paying attention when your record's getting done and the, the fucking thing just, the needle goes off and it starts recording on the actual table itself instead of the record. So your record's all fucked up. And you try to blame P. Diddy for it, but he keeps looking off to the side. Never looks at you, right? And then there can be problems. But when I was feeling, I literally felt the needle, okay? And I know we can, we can make anything happen as far as conceptualizing what this life is. We can do anything with it. We can say it's anything. It's really not anything at all, and it's everything. You know, like, that's why you gotta get past the whole facts idea, because it's malleable, and it's everything, and it's nothing. And it does exist, it doesn't exist, like all things in between. Science fiction is reality, reality is science fiction, and so on, right? But I felt the experiences, the, the life experiences, what we call our lives, our physical 3D avatar lives, I felt it being translated and transcribed into a record. And the record, is, you know, it's in me as well. Like, we are the record as well. We have access to that record-keeping mechanism, which is not an old ass like 32 speed record player it's quantum mind right like it's quantum mind which is of course tied into subatomics and uh you know universal <laughs> it's as all the as above so below stuff but quantum computing is what your record ac apparatus is called and it's fast okay and this is why so many of us are frustrated because if we <laughs> If we've gained a little bit of access or feeling into that 
quantum record keeping system and uh, you know the physical body itself body mind complex this thing here is sitting there like doing any inane boring ass thing like a desk job you know recording actuary numbers for insurance companies where accidents never happen and just the executives get rich but the NPCs are too dumb to know about that because they don't ever pay attention to anything you could be doing that and your life makes no sense and you're bored as fuck and you're like but I have this quantum mind that everything I've ever done, every person I've ever seen, every hug I've ever given, every fuck I've ever had, all of it is right here in front of my face and I call it memory, but it actually actively interacts with this whole environment via what I call it again, quantum mind, right? So we can get frustrated when we look into that mind and see, oh, God damn it. I was trying to make the point before I started out here that that experience of me in the tunnel we all remember that, right? Everyone who watched that video remembers Gary was sitting in the tunnel talking about Madera Ranchos and, you know, he had no shirt on and somebody also, like, made a video of that video and slowed it down and sped it up and whatever, which none of you saw because I didn't put any link about it, but it does exist somewhere. And it wasn't a bad video, but... Anyway. All that whole thing and that video exists in the collective of a mind, which is also quantum mind, which quantum mind is everybody's mind. It's not like I have a quantum mind, you have a quantum mind. Yes, it's kind of like that, but it's kind of not. It's like the cloud, you know, everything's in the cloud, but your computer has your particular cloud version in it. And so that experience is months ago, but it's instantaneous. Can't snap my finger very well, but in terms of access speed, instantaneous and I can do whatever I want with that memory internally like I have an internal imaginative 3d space where I can without you know I have all kinds of encryptions on it so little fucks don't come and fuck with me but I can do anything I want what we call imagination and of course you can hone this into being better than others some people don't have it at all we call those ones NPCs but if you do have an imagination you can hone it and any memory any thought form any anything inside of your imagination can be tumbled around, spun up and down, made big, made tiny, made everything, made nothing, back and forth, back and forth, do all kinds of acrobats and everything with it. And you can immediately zip it off, tie it off, send it back, say, stop bothering me. You can do anything and everything and nothing uh, with the speed of light, right? Speed of light, uh, a billion times faster than whatever we call this life, which is a condensation of that quantum infinite uh, mind space stuff which is composed of everything like that's why you you get a glimpse into that reality and you see you know like you can see a whole lifetime you know one of these records I was talking about it you can just through it and it's just one split second and then that that itself is a pixel in a bit in a bigger picture and I've talked about that before too and of course until until you've done that thing, you know, maybe you can do it with DMT and you have one long breath and you're like, <sighs> you go through all these life experiences, uh, all the memories that you've been suppressed from and you just get all traumatized and then, you, you know, you, you go back to the God self, which is, of course, just the ocean gently, you know, quantum bubbles bumping into each other. Then you dive into one of those quantum bubbles on one of the skins of it and then you have a whole entire reality field, like universe, maybe they're all doing incestuous shit and you know, the, the guardians of that particular bubble are fucking off and, like, watching porn. And so, it seems like shit's all bad, but we're, we're just, like, it's not bad or good. It's just what it is. The reality is infinite. Your, your own mind is infinite. And whatever sort of thing that you're stuck yourself in, at this very moment, if you're upset, if you're unhappy, if you're currently in pain, if someone's doing TI stuff at you, if, you know, you're feeling your your oats and you're about to go become a Yaldabaoth and fuck all your little realm fellows and, and ass and hide and all this shit like you can be doing anything as an entity but it's all the same shit when you zoom out you zoom way the fuck out it's all the same thing and it's not anyway this one kind of went a little bit long uh <laughs> cover a lot of ground here I think 10% battery remaining <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself. That thing was fucking hilarious. That's the whole thing is hilarious to me. I don't care about Epstein or him killing himself or not killing himself. I don't like pedophilia, but 
whoever came up with the idea of inserting things that they care about, you know, in, after riding a long diatribe meme-wise to make it into some viral, you know, deep state fighting mechanism, that was a good idea. I think it's hilarious. And, uh, anyway. Oh, the, the, the mystery school, the snail, mystery snail deal thing is starting up today in about, what's it, like 7 o'clock, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's 8, 4, probably in about 6 hours, 7, 8 hours, 6 to 8 hours from this current moment. So Pacific Standard Time, West Coast Time, it's going to be like anywhere from 3 to probably 5 o'clock and everywhere else, you know, do your math from that. If you want to see what it's going to look like and if you wanted to see some of your friends because everyone generally knows each other in this audience, it will be a little bit of a powwow and I will just discuss what it's going to look like and everybody can give their ideas, whoever is interested in joining it. Again, it's going to be $5 a month once it gets rolling. The first month, like from here until the beginning of December, it's probably not going to cost anything. We'll just make the group and we'll see what happens, see it form itself. and. Uh, I will charge people at the end of the month and whoever doesn't pay you'll get, you'll get kicked out and if you want to come back and try again next month you know I'll let people in and out depending on their situation but I will make sure that your skin stays in the game uh, and yeah we'll see what it looks like it should be fun anyway I'm gonna move on because I got things to do and thanks for watching uh, do something nice like generally speaking being nice feels better than being like a shithead Everything gets balanced, but, you know, bye!